New at noon, we're hearing from a Kendall man whose two cars were destroyed in a deliberate fire. The crime caught on camera. He says this has happened to him before, and now he's offering up a big reward for information on who did this. CBS 4's Real Crane is live in Kendall with the latest. Real? Well, Maribel, the man says it's pretty obvious that he was the target of this. This was quite the spectacle to see in this neighborhood overnight. Two vehicles torched in his driveway. This one virtually burned to a crisp. And now the man says he also has the video that shows how it all happened. It's the dramatic scene caught on surveillance outside one man's Kendall home. Overnight, as two men walk up and methodically, slowly even, set ablaze both the vehicles in his driveway. He was pouring uh, lighter fluid over the over the the drop top, and then but this one lit first. The same scene. The man says he watched from his window, claiming he saw all of it go down. About 1:30, uh, got a six cents to go check the window, and uh, went to the window and saw a Kia pull up. He didn't want to be identified, but he says it's not the first time. Well, they did it two days ago. Two days ago, they tried to light that truck on fire. He'd installed cameras the day after the first incident, the last of them perhaps the clearest put in after midnight today. 45 minutes before. The sound of tires and gas tanks popping as explosions rocked the neighborhood into the night. The morning after, the chance to survey the damage and what was left of a charred Mustang and work truck. He claims he knows who's behind it. So obviously, it's personal. It's not not something random. An old business dispute he believes triggered this fiery retribution. He's upping the ante by personally offering $10,000 of his own money, he says, to get these people caught. Now it's just time for an investigation to see where it goes, you know. I'm not going gonna, gonna to be relentless in it. Now, we did speak with Miami-Dade police about this. They wanted to make clear that until the man, the victim, goes through the proper channels, puts that money in an account up front, they cannot actually say there is a reward in this case. But they did confirm they are investigating this as a case of arson. Meantime, that man tells us he is not concerned about the vehicles, the property. They are insured. He's mostly concerned about getting justice served to those who did this. In Kendall, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.